Hello guys, good afternoon. This is Miss Henderson. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for my existing subscribers and for my new incoming subscriber. Thank you so much, my CNA sisters and brothers out there. Um, I'm coming to you again with another video, another YouTube video with some um, test questions that can basically help you pass your Prometric exam or your CNA exam. I hope these um, videos are providing you some um, improving and enhancing your grade in the CNA course. So that being said, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please smash that like button and please drop your comments and let me know whatever videos, other videos you would like me to provide you with. So the first question we have here you are feeding a patient you need to serve. Take a moment and think about the answer. And I'm going to tell you the answer. So you should be um, verbalizing the answer. A, food in the order the person prefers. B, food as directed by the nurse. C, hot food first and then cold. Solid foods first and liquid foods last. So think about it and think about the answer. So I hope you come up with the correct answer as A as in alpha, foods in the order the person prefers. That's the correct answer and I'm going to bold it. Question number two, water requirements increased with a, cold weather, B, hot weather, C, age, D, kidney failure. Think about the answer. And I hope you come up with B, hot weather, or hot temperature. Question number three, a patient has an IV. Which statement is correct? Think about it. Think about the answer. And I hope you come up with D as in David. The nursing assistants must report any problems, any problems to the nurse regarding the IV. That's the correct answer for question number three. Question number four. Temperature, pulse, respirations, and blood pressure are? Take a moment and think about the answer. So the correct answer for this question is vital signs. So vital signs include temperature, pulse, respirations, and blood pressure. And also the fifth vital sign is pain. You ask the patient from a scale 0 to 10, let them tell you their pain level. So B is the correct answer for this question. Question number 5. A heart rate less than 60 beats per minute is? Take a moment and think about the answer. So... A heart rate less than 60, the normal heart rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute. And if it's less than 60 beats per minute, that's called bradycardia. That's a medical terminology. You should know that. Question number six. The normal body temperature range for the oral site is? Take a moment and think about the answer. So the correct answer is A as in alpha, 97.6 to 99.6 Fahrenheit degrees. That's the correct answer. Question number seven. When an apical pulse is taken, the pulse is counted for? Take a moment and think about the answer. Is it 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, or 60 seconds? 
I hope you come up with D as in David, 60 seconds, which is equal to one full minute. You should count the pulse for one full minute. Question number eight, bed rest places the person at risk for? Take a moment and think about the answer. The answer is B, blood clots. As um, you lay it in bed, your re risk for um, deep vein thrombosis increases. So that is why you're supposed to be ambulating patient and walking patient so they could have their exercise. Question number eight, respirations are usually counted before the temperature, after the pulse is taken, after the temperature is taken, after the blood pressure, think about it. Take a moment. The correct answer is B, after the pulse is taken. And I'm going to bold it. Question number nine. Blood pressure cuff is applied over the brachial artery, carotid artery, radial artery, femoral artery. Take a moment and think about the answer, and it's A as in alpha, the brachial artery. That's the correct answer. Question number 10. Muscle atrophy is? Take a moment and think about it. So the correct answer for this question is decreasing the size or wasting away of the muscle. That's the correct answer. answer. Question number 11. To balance a scale is to? A, zero. Correct is the, zero is the correct answer for that question. You must place the scale on a zero to balance it out. Question number 12, you have been delegated range of motion, which is correct. Which is incorrect. Move each joint slightly past the point of pain, exercise the joint that is in the care plan, support the joint being exercised, move the joint slowly and smoothly. So which is incorrect? So A as in alpha is incorrect and that's the answer for that question. Question number 13, a person is noted with unsteady gait. When amulating this resident, the nursing assistant needs to apply. Take a moment and think about the answer. Is it gate belt? Is it quad cane? Is it supportive device? Is it a brace? The correct answer for this question is A, a gate belt. A gate belt is used to amulate patients that have um, unsteady gates. Question 14, a patient complains of severe pain, which is correct. Pain is a warning from the body and must be reported. Give pain medications. You can feel the patient pain. Pain is the same for all patients. Take a moment and think about it. The correct answer is A. Pain is a warning from the body and must be reported. Question number 15, which is not a guideline for measuring weight and height? Think about it. Take a moment and think about the answer. Use different scales for weighing the patient. This is not a guideline because you're supposed to use the same scale for the patient. So D is the answer for this one. Question number 16, the nurse asks you to collect a random urine specimen, which is correct. Take a moment and think about the answer. 
So the correct answer for this question is A. No sp special measures are needed. Question number 17. The resident is noted with stage 4 pressure injury and should be repositioned by the nursing assistants. Think a, take a moment and think about the answer. So it's every two hours, and you should know this question because we've been talking about this from day one. This is a very simple question. Question number 18. So question number 18 states, you are, you are obtained, you are obtaining, you are obtaining a stool specimen, which is correct. Take a moment and think about the answer. So the correct answer is A as in alpha. Use a tongue blade to transfer two tablespoons of tablespoons of two tablespoons of feces from the bedpan to the container to the specimen container. Okay, so use a tongue blade to transfer two tablespoons of feces from the bedpan into the container. Into the specimen, specimen container. That's the correct answer for this question. I hope you have chosen that answer. Question number 19. You will help prepare a resident for surgery. Your role involves. Take a moment and think about it. I hope you came up with this answer. Explain the care you will give. So you're not supposed to be explaining the, the, the surgical procedure. That's the job of a doctor. Question number 20. So question number 20, after surgery, a resident wears an elastic stocking, which is correct, which is incorrect actually. The person sits up in chair while the stockings are off. The stockings are applied before the person gets out of bed. Stockings should not have creases or wrinkles. The stocking is removed every eight hours to check skin integrity. So which is incorrect? So A as in alpha is the correct answer. This is incorrect. The person sits up in chair while the stockings are off. That's the one. That's the correct answer. A as in alpha. So guys, guys, I think this is it for this video. I did actually 20 questions. As always, these videos are meant to deepen your understanding and help help you to enhance your grades as a CNA and to pass your Prometric CNA exam. So again, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like and share. Please give this video a thumbs up and please drop your comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the other one. Bye for now.